Lachlan Cahoon here, Group Editor at Telecoms Asia. I'm here at the Reader's Choice Award with Rajesh Rao from VRB Solutions. We're talking about their interference management solution. I'm interested, uh, Rajesh, in to understand how this solution that you've got has evolved over time to its current version. Yeah, thanks, uh, Lachlan, for having me here. It's always a pleasure. And the innovation is uh, central to our theme as a company, right? Um, and, uh, you know, last year, uh, we won the Test and Measurement Innovation Award, and uh, this year again, right? So it's great. Last year, if you, don't, you may not remember, but we had an instrument that was this big, and we took it into a form factor that was this small, right? So from here to this size, and that was great. And uh, this year, it's amazing. I mean, it's more than amazing, I think. Um, but this instrument uh, and solution, we reduce field tech deployments by 50%, okay? That's a lot. And on top of it, our productivity gains of 1,000%. Now, why is that? Um, what I call as a syndrome called carpool, okay? What do you mean carpool? <laughs> no, it's not carpool, it's carpool, C and ARPU. C is for connectivity and ARPU, which you know as average revenue per user. So if you don't mind, I'd just like to illustrate that uh, with a little drawing, if that's okay with you. All right, Lachlan, so let me sketch this up, right? So I said ARPU, right? So this is connectivity. and this is average revenue per user, okay? So if you look at this over time, okay, you have connectivity, and on this side I'll put ARPU. So it's pretty clear. When you look at seven billion people on this planet and connectivity between people, and you see connectivity starts growing up, right? So you have seven billion people, but there's 20 billion unconnected devices, right? And maybe going up to 50 billion. What happens? Connectivity just goes through the roof, okay? So increasing connectivity, and there is something called as the spectrum. And this is congestion, right? It's heavily congested. You've got the 700 megahertz spectrum, the 1.8 gig spectrum, and the 2.4 gig spectrum. You've got unlicensed band, licensed band, small cells, name it, and everything is cramped in this. And then today, the operators have, you know what's happening to ARPU? It's coming down. And what does it mean, coming down, is cost. So the operators are putting up radio resources on the same cell tower, right, sharing resources. You have a crunched spectrum, right, people are using it. It's a perfect recipe for interference. And that's how our interference hunter or advisor was born, right? So today, we've got a great automated solution where you can do it from the driver's seat of your car without even having to get down. And you of using two cell technicians, you just use one. So it's an amazing solution that's out there. So we are known now as, I'd say, ghostbusters of the interference industry. Okay. Uh, now, why did we get here is really, we've been in this industry for eight to 10 years. It started off in Korea with the 3G deployments and LTE deployments. We've enabled more than half a million, maybe half a million to a million base stations worldwide. Okay. And we've done a great job of enabling these. If we've done a great job of enabling base stations, why is this problem coming? So we've been looking at testing a particular base station, which is to that station, but not looked outside. Because of this problem, now you have interference coming from the outside. So that's why we've evolved our solution. We had something called as detecting RF over CIPRI, which means you can look at RF parameters at the baseband without having to climb up the tower. Okay? On top of it, now we've automated the solution. So that's the birth of our solution there. Let me give you a quick, couple of quick examples to illustrate my point. It is interesting. We were doing interference hunting with one uh, upcoming uh, greenfield operator, large one in India. You probably guess who. So our experts and uh, their experts went together and did some interference hunting. It was amazing. Um, it was a software industry, and it was actually a fingerprint scanner that was RF-enabled fingerprint scanner that was interfering with the base station in that building. Right? Amazing. In another case, it was a small cell. In another case, it was a hospital where uh, the patients were, wa were watching uh, movies on an unlicensed spectrum, right, 2.5 gig or 2.4 gig, which interfered with the uh, com staff communication system, right? So you see what happens if you want to place a critical call. If you're downloading video, it's still okay. But if you want an emergency call and you can't go through, it's a question of life and death, right? And that's how our automated interference advisor, Viavi's uh, solution was born. So how does this solution then make a positive contribution to performance management of a network? Yeah, good question, Lachlan. Uh, see, performance management is not just about improving the quality of the network, right? It's really 
how good is the quality of your network relative to someone else's it's always relative number one how consistent it is how repeatable it is right and how quick can you do it and that's important so if we take our um, you know very innovative uh, interference hunting solution I mean, what we call the interference advisor uh, and the process of really hunting for interference really involves three parts one is uh, detection which is quite cumbersome right you've got to spend a lot of time trying to detect where that interference comes from then localizing the source right of interference and then eliminating it it's quite simple right detect localize eliminate now detection can take a long time now what we started was um, we pioneered the RF over CIPRI testing which means right at the baseband you can take the RF parameters and you know do your measurements so we have eliminated the need for two technicians to go to a site now it's very expensive when you've got a person to climb the tower he has to be sir he or she has to be certified it's expensive and you have deployments where you guys said two people, right? With our approach, you just need one person, right? You can do it from the baseband. So you save on that. Second is um, once you identify the interference source from there, you have to go and hunt for it, right? So we've automated this entire solution in a vehicle. So if you're a field technician driving uh, in the car, you've got a tablet next to you, Android based that is connect, communicating with the instrument at the back of the car over Wi-Fi. So you don't really need to start, stop, get down and, and do these measurements, right? The old method was very different. It's called triangulation, right? So you take an antenna um, and an analyzer and you walk around and you drive around till you find it. It could take days, months, weeks, right? Very long. With this in the driver's seat, you got a tablet. It even shows you where the interference location is and it gives you voice prompts, right? Um, and within minutes, uh, hours, or a day, you can really find where the interference location is, right? So it's fully automated. You just feel like you're the Jason Bourne in the car, <laughs> okay? If you know what I mean. Yeah. Uh, and it's really useful uh, for interference hunting. The base station test for the solution actually includes a number of streamlined functions. Can you describe these to us now? Yeah, it's um, um, interesting. So when you have, uh, you've got 4G now, LTE. You're moving to LTE advanced. Mm. So the idea is, you know, in this crowded spectrum, you're trying to get more out of it, right? So you got uh, LT advanced with carrier aggregation. You got uh, MIMO configuration in the antenna, massive MIMO. So it's good to get the capacity and throughput higher, but at the same time, you're increasing the complexity, right? Complexity of managing it, complexity of testing it. Now, we, we pioneered the RF over CIPRI, which I, I mentioned you can measure from the baseband. We've enhanced this RF over CIPRI over time. So a couple of quick points, um, you know, there's many more really. So we've looked at the RFIQ data block, and while you set the antenna parameters and throughput parameters, at the same time you can do seamlessly RF measurements, right? That's one. You can seamlessly set signal quality measurements like amplitude, bandwidth, right? And we've got, we support a lot of variants of different base station manufacturers. We've got it already preset, so it's easy for you to use, right? Whether you're using, you know, one particular NEM or another NEM. And the other interesting part is, you know, the front hall is all fiber from the baseband to the radio. We've incorporated a fiber check probe that can connect to this. You can inspect the cleanliness of the fiber, visual inspection, uh, pass fail tests, and through Bluetooth or Wi-Fi or USB, you can pass it on to your mobile phone, right? So that's cool innovation. So all this is a great package, right? It's an amazing story uh, of interference hunting that we've come up with. Um, and we look forward to, you know, making a big impact in this industry.